Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are playing Power Blade. Doesn't that look a little like Arnold? All right, we got some shiny pants. All right, let's go to sector one. Let's just, all right. So we're a guy with a boomerang. Uh, controls are decent so far. Haven't seen anything issues. Okay, so you can't fall back down the level. Once you uh, once you're up, you're up. Okay, good to know. All right, so that's not a block you can jump on. I almost didn't feel like I was gonna get there. It does have the generic feel of like a good majority of these games. I mean, it feels kind of like Contra meets Mega Man. A little bit. Where it's kind of got a Contra feel, but it also has like a, a Mega Man vibe, which I, I kind of feel like all of the side scrollers, depending on what they're doing, all kind of have the Mega Man vibe, just due to the fact that Mega Man is such an iconic, uh, well known. But I mean, as we're seeing here, a lot of this just looks a lot like, uh, just has the full Mega Man vibe kind of thing. You must be Nova, I'm your contact here. Take this ID card. But it looks like the levels aren't just a straightforward uh, point A to point B like a lot of these where we're kind of going up and down and around and and back again. We're going there and back again by Bilbo Baggins. But doesn't a lot of these things look a lot like some of the Batman, uh, just a lot of stuff that, that looks and feels a lot like every other game. I don't know the full, uh, oh, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm playing Mega Man and you could jump on the clouds, but that is not a thing. Any chance that we could do this? No. Not at all. Game over. All right, we'll, we'll start again. You know, it's not bad. Like, it, it's pretty generic. There's nothing really, like, game-changing or de that really separates this from, like, every other one, it seems like. But it's unique enough. I'm kind of disappointed that we're in a whole nother level and it's the exact same enemies. I wonder if this is just going to keep going. Whoop. No, we, we do go somewhere else. All right. So there are there is a lot of variability as far as... Uh, you, can, you can shoot up and diagonally, but not down diagonally.
Well, I wonder where that's from. We got some Terminator going on. Disappearing blocks. Hey, bats! Uh, we got some Castlevania. <laughs> they even kind of look like it, and like the stuff when it drops is kind of Castlevania esque. Ah, ooh. We got, we got ended. I thought we had two things. I didn't realize that it was enemy and power. Okay, so you can't shoot diagonally if you jump. That is good to know. Uh, come on. Which trope do we have here? We got enemies that are jumping out of the water shooting stuff. But they're robots. So it's Castlevania and Mega Man again. It's it, They really did kind of throw a lot of the tropes from a lot of the games... And then, of course, you got the blocks. And the exact same thing, the pattern thing. I don't think I've seen that pattern, the way the blocks do that, anywhere else other than Mega Man. I mean, if you have seen that in other games, let me know. But, like, that is pretty much one of the strictly Mega Man. You must be Nova. I'm your contact here. Oof, we need some health. But this one, the pattern is random. That's some fucked up shit right there. That's kind of messed up. At least everything else is... Uh, I guess that's original right there. Because everywhere else is... Uh, aha, our, our boomerang is so fucking weak early on. Oh, <laughs> we start here. That sucks. Oh, we need that. Come on. Food, yes. Ah. I didn't mean to continue here. I was going to end and go elsewhere. I know we got to go down there, but I want to try to get some power-ups first. If that's going to be possible. So we missed both things. That's 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 good.
All right, so we've got some. Now, if we only had something that increases range. Boy, does that not look like Robocop or what? Like, I swear the designers in this game decided to take a little bit of everything. We got some Terminator, we have Robocop, we have Mega Man, Castlevania. They even have mechanical frogs. Like, at first, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, but now... Ooh! We're a football... We got, we got armor now. Still can't hurt anything. These things are absolutely ridiculous, man. And we already ran out of our armor. That's, dis that's disgusting. At least in Mega Man, they, they have a time thing where they automatically just pop up. <laughs> ha. I would like to see an end, uh, a boss. Is kind of what I'm trying to work towards. Come on, food! Oh, we got... Oh, it's still arced and got us. And we're at the beginning. We lost all of our stuff. Oh, that's annoying. All right, now they're being generous. Oh, so we did already. Well, since we continued, we already had it. Ah, I wish I paid attention to that. That would have been nice. Oh, okay, so we hit select and it kills everything on screen. That's what the grenades, that's how to use the grenades. All right, so now we also have our initial attack that we can. Uh, Shoot across screen. All right. We're learning some stuff.
came up there last time. Food! Oh, thank goodness. We were doing so good. I meant to duck and it didn't duck. Oh, this is going to suck. Yeah, I, I knew that was coming. <laughs> All the way at the beginning again. That sucks. It, it is a fun game. It is decent. It is filled with nothing but copycats of every sci-fi and pretty much side-scrolling uh, video game out there at the date of the game. I mean, we can see obvious things from RoboCop. We can see the obvious things from Robo uh, from Terminator. And then you have the bats from Castlevania with the boomerangs. Kind of has a Castlevania feel to it. Uh, definitely had a bunch of Mega Man esque items in there, like the robotic fish jumping out, shooting at you, the 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 frog jumping, the mechanical frog shooting you, like it's just so many of the same basic tropes that you see in every single uh, one of these games, but copying so many and just stealing from so much without putting any real originality into it is a little bit of a letdown. But all in all, if you overlook all of that, it is still a really fun game. It's got enough uh, nuances to it to make it uh, somewhat fun and playable. Uh, and, you know, it is, it is kind of fun. I mean, we we'll just consider them paying homage to everything that came before that they enjoyed. I mean, there's really nothing with a game playing, paying homage to it as long as they're not taking themselves seriously and making it to where they're, like, being original. But, obviously, the, the, they had to have been doing an homage to all these fun stuff and adding it into one... <laughs> one unique game because if you play I, I guarantee you the more we see of this game the more we're going to pick out all kinds of sci-fi movies and side-scrolling video games in everything as well as the way everything runs and plays out I mean it is cool that it is a non-linear game where you wind up having to backtrack a little bit you go up here there's a lot of different paths you can take and you snake your way through the level which I do like um, more so than a lot of the games which is fully linear like like Mega Man for instance where it's just A to B you go through and yeah there's that one small little branch to pick up an energy but nothing like this game is and then the the boomerang is a fairly unique weapon I know it has been done in a few games but as the primary weapon uh, it is unique and it does take a little getting used to especially like Starting off where you only have the one weak boomerang that only goes a certain distance and having to upgrade it to two and three boomerangs and more and more power to get it to go further. Um, learning, learning the nuances of the attacks and everything is, uh, is definitely um, a, a good, a positive in the game. It's, it is not just a very basic side scroller. It does have a little depth to it. Not much. has a little depth. So with that and all the tributes and the homage to all the fun stuff that came before it, it really is a fun, good game. And I would actually recommend playing it. It is actually pretty enjoyable. So with that being said, guys, you have a good one. We'll see you next time.